Before that, it's time to discuss more of today's biggest headlines. Tom and Vanessa are back. Okay. Welcome back. Um, so let's begin with this story, first of all, shall we? Uh, a transgender rapist convicted of launching sex attacks on two vulnerable women is set to be sent to a female jail to await sentencing. So, uh, obviously, uh, this people are up in arms about this, people are agreeing with this. I mean, it's a real divider. Well, let's, let's stick to the facts on it, because mm -hmm. that, that's always quite helpful, because, as you say, the emotions are very highly charged about this one. Uh, this is a man who is convicted of raping two women, a mm. biological man who, during the process of the trial, decided to transition to being a woman. Uh -huh. The reports I've read makes no suggestion that they've done this legally, so they haven't gone through the process of gaining a gender recognition certificate, which would mean, in law, they would uh, be legally entitled to the rights of a legal woman. Mm -hmm. And I think the biological case for them being a woman rather speaks for itself, given that this is a man who raped two women with a man's body, the appendage that is required to do that. So in no way is this person legally a woman, nor biologically a woman. Why, in God's name, is a non-legal woman, non-biological woman, being put into a women's only as, prison? As we um, move forward, become more inclusive, understand more, become better as a society, there are always going to be there had to be cases that were going to throw up confusion. Um, and, and this is one of those cases. It's uh, like, OK, what, what is the right thing to do? Absolutely. What should you do? Um, there, there's a there, is, there is going to be uh, difficulty when and if someone has gained a gender recognition certificate mm -hmm. and, and deserves to be treated as the gender that they are legally, yeah. have legally found or the sex that they are legally required to be treated as. This case ain't it. You know, there's, there's no reporting that this person has legally changed their sex. Biologically, that's a man. So I don't think it needs to be as confusing as it initially appears because there's no way in which this person deserves to be treated as a woman. And I don't think it is helpful for trans people. I don't think this helps trans people that there is confusion about this. This is a man who raped two women during the course of that trial, decided to become a woman, mm -hmm. says that they are a woman, don't have a legal right to be treated as one, biologically they are not. What's the confusion? Okay. It's just a very complicated subject, isn't it? I think the, I think the, and the problem with the, as, as I see it, problem, with the law change that is being blocked by and the Westminster government. And it's so individual. I think that's the problem. It's such it an individual thing. It is, and um, there are lots and lots of people who every day throughout their lives struggle with the sense of identity and yeah. they, she, they need help, they need to be looked after, they need to be treated with respect. Mm. But in the instances where biological sex matters, mm. in the case of rape and sexual assault, um, I, I'm not sure that there's a debate here. Okay. Um, where there is a debate, and let's change the subject now, um, Vanessa, here's one for you. Uh, Aria <laughs> Megan, director, uh, Liz Garbus, is speaking out against Buckingham Palace. She said Netflix, uh, the docuseries, gave her uh, insight into the alleged Palace mind games that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex went through. Buckingham Palace said that uh, we didn't reach out for comment when we did. They did that to discredit us. And by discrediting us, they can discredit the content of the show. You can take the contentious oh, one. Oh, gosh, this is the one that's really controversial, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? I mean, I, I think we, we, we know that it's true that Netflix did reach out to the palace to ask for comment, but I think we also think it's true that it that the, the, the email landed in the wrong... How do we know wrong... it's true? Because I think... I How think do we know any of it's has true? Has it been vaguely acknowledged that the email landed in the wrong inbox or was in the wrong place and although it was sent, it wasn't seen or delivered or... I think that's what the story yeah. is that I've How heard do we know? anyway. That they, they did reach out, but it didn't get to the right person or it never arrived at all or it got put in someone's junk and nobody who was meant to respond <laughs> responded. Outlet was down, um, Teams was exactly. down. Exactly. <laughs> it was... It was it. <laughs> I mean, I thought legally you sort of have to, don't you? I thought whenever you make any sort of programme, if somebody's part I of don't know. that... I, isn't this a bit after the event? I mean, we all got here at this morning Morning at what six o'clock in the morning, so we could watch every single scintilla of it as it came out. We wouldn't miss one single frame of precious broadcasting. We we watched it. We've all talked about it. We've yeah. suggested it. Some people as if we learned it by heart. We read the book. We've had his face embroidered on a pillow. I mean, what, you know, <laughs> what more are we supposed to do? You know, do we really? Is there anything else that we can dredge up to talk about these two people that we don't know and most of us will never meet and who made their own decisions in their own family? Am I might just think let them get on?
fun with it. I just, I mean, I, I, I would, I personally be relieved not to have to think of them for You're a couple done, of days. Aren't you, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I, I, well, well, I think, done, I think yeah. we all, so, all actually we're said, done. "Oh, yeah. God, not this yeah, again." Not another story about them. Yeah, I think, about, so we're gone, done. We reached out and they didn't respond, and then they said we didn't reach out. Okay, all right. Let's all agree it. We're done. I mean, listen, well, I I'm, don't know. I'm, I'm not sure I'm, about that. Less is a good story. <laughs> quite, quite. Depends what happens tomorrow. But I'm I tell, not tell you what. The, the fact that I'm fed up, I'm not like, oh, I'm over them, I'm fed up with them. Yeah. I don't feel like that personally, right. you know, for any of them. Like, I don't, I don't. I'm I just, but I like am that. bored of the mudslinging. I'm, 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 I'm just bored of the And it's just all in one direction because. It's a thousand years of. Who said what? Who corrected what story about what lip gloss and, you know, which bridesmaid dresses and which socks. Even in our own family, we can't remember. But also. We were annoyed about eight years ago. We forgot. It's important whether somebody did give you a cup of tea or didn't, or put you at the wrong table at a bar mitzvah, which actually I'm still annoyed about, you oh, know who you no. are. But you know what I mean? Oh. You forget this stuff eventually. You don't need to know but every Vanessa... single thing that they imagined was annoying in their entire life. Ah. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> just going to say, a thousand years of, of, uh, of British, you know, sort of sovereignty. Yeah. Um, and then uh, they are not going to, they can't fight back. So they won't fight back. Exactly. It's undignified to fight back. So it's all in one direction. Exactly. It's called poking the bear. And they that's keep poking choice, and poking, though. but it's a royal bear and it can't roar back and that's it. It is a choice not to roar back, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they, I don't think they can because, and also I don't think they can partly because there are so many tiny, you know, micro um, accusations, <laughs> huge ones, big ones, small ones. You know, what, what, what could they respond to? How could yeah. they do it? Well, it's I... funny though, for someone who's quite bored of it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to give you value for money on this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you you always I'm do. I'm right so bored. I can't think of anything to say. I'm revving up for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we you're in for love you. You've got to say it's my job. Something to say. That's what I'm for, isn't it? Oh my God, we love you. Thank you both very, very much. Thank you.